Kent, two things. Why do you say that uh, that scientists say that the universe came from a dot of nothing that exploded? None of that is true. And then why do you say that life came from a rock under the evolutionist worldview? Those two things are objectively not true. You could say life came from stardust and nobody would have a problem with that. I mean, that would at least be accurate. But saying life came from rocks is not accurate. Um, no, that's not a part of the theory. And then saying that the singularity is a dot of nothing that exploded is also not part of the theory. The singularity is not even part of the theory. It's a mathematical like artifact for like, we don't have math to describe it. Therefore, it is not part of the theory. Like the Big Bang for T equals zero, the T equals, you know, 10 to the minus 33 seconds, not part of the theory. We don't have math that's advanced enough to describe it. So it's not accurate to say a dot of nothing exploded or that life came from rocks. Well, yeah, but he says it's a religion all the time. That's what you're saying, right? And they believe it. Okay, let me right. talk for a while. He's, right. not, he's trying to monopolize the whole conversation. All right. Okay. All right. I was hoping Grayson was coming on to announce he gave his heart to the Lord and got saved and is now a Christian and going to defend the creation view. I, I've been asked this question 30 times. I show slides. I've got 50,000 slides. I can't call it up quickly here. But... I show right from the textbook, they do teach we came from a rock. Listen carefully. Here's your theory. The earth cooled down and formed a hard, rocky crust. It rained on the rocks for millions of years and turned them into soup, and the soup came alive. You do believe you came from a rock. If you think that's stupid, congratulations. You at least got one point right. It is stupid. That is what the books teach. I can show you. How many textbooks do I have here? 300, 400 of them, okay? But the soup they did not come that. from the rocks. Where did the materials in this, the soup is water and what else? What else is in this soup? Organic material, that is not okay. rocks or from rocks. Or, 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 no, organic means coming from something that's already alive. No, it doesn't. You have minerals. Grayson, the definite, I debate. took organic chemistry and the first thing that you learn in organic chemistry is organic means carbon containing. Okay. So where did it come from? It came from we, the rocks. It didn't come from the no, water. We have observed organic material forming naturally in space from stardust, not from rocks. Oh, so life came from outer space rocks to the Earth. No. Amino acids and, and different organic molecules are formed naturally in space. We find them in meteorites. We find them when we look in telescopes with spectroscopy. Like 20% of all the carbon in the entire universe that we observe right now is in complex organic formations in space. Like these are not from rocks. Organic materials are not rocks. And I even emailed the, the foremost geol geologist in the field of origin of life research. And I asked him this exact question. And he said that it is a gross misrepresentation and transformation of his work to say that life came from rocks. And he's the top geologist in the field of origin of life. Wow. Okay, hey, Grayson, you're missing the whole point. I'm the top, top expert, okay? The, be the books do say we came from a rock. Primordial soup, okay? It rained on the rocks for millions of years. I show this over and over again. If you're embarrassed by it, you should be. Where did this organic material come from? Outer space? Yes. Well, then you got the, all you did is postpone the problem. How did it develop out there? You're just putting it out of sight, out of mind. That's not science. I'll explain that too. Like, well, there, there are papers published about how these organic not, molecules form in space. Uh, Grayson, just say, I, I just want to make sure Kent is, is done with his points and then we'll yeah, throw no, it back. We're, we're, getting, we're getting nowhere. I'll debate him again anytime on the origin of life. All he would have would be a religious belief that this is how it happened. If it really is scientific, do it again in the laboratory. Take some stardust and make some life. You can't do it. You believe it happened. This is your religion is all it is. And Donnie, I've gone a long time. I've had a long day. Can we uh, get the rest of the questions and close down? I'm tired. 